Another beautiful day in Newfoundland. Cloudy, overcast. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go grab breakfast and then we're gonna do the Western Brook Pond hike today. I think that's the plan. And then we'll see what else we got time for. Geared up, ready to go for a little hike. Should be tame, no incline, which usually kills me. No wind, so things are good. Western Brook Pond. Oh, that looks pretty nice. That looks really nice. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Look at this view. Pretty killer. Crazy to think this is Canada. Sweet, quick photo shoot was a success. I don't want to put the drone up here. I guess we got nothing in time. I'm not really sure if this is gonna do it justice, but this is a pretty incredible looking spot. So peaceful, nobody here. It is just glorious. We have not had weather this nice yet. Ears are popping, we're going down. We are done at uh, Western Brook Pond. It's incredible. Really looking forward to editing those photos. This is a pretty, uh, pretty dramatic backdrop. Now we're headed to Table Lambs, one of the other top destinations in Grossmore National Park. I don't really know what to expect. There's a ton of snow here, like feet of snow still. What's the date? April 20th, April 20th. There's a lot of snow still. Um, yeah, we'll check in a little bit once we get to uh, the destination. We're not sure what the destination is, I don't think. We're just checking out this area. Yeah, just scouting, just looking around. Two hours to Bonavista and then we'll spend the night. A big storm rolling in, so I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow with weather, but it's gonna be some cool cliffs, lighthouse, icebergs. What are we thinking? All of the above. All of the above at this next place. So and there's a polar bear three weeks. And there's a polar bear spot. So these big ice drifts come in, ice uh, pack ice. Pack ice comes in and, and once in a while a polar bear comes in with it. So might see a polar bear, that'd be pretty wild. Who knows? Yeah. Crazy things have happened. Welcome to winter. <laughs> There's, it was not snowing last night when we pulled in, barely snowing, and we must have got, I don't know, half a foot of snow overnight. This is gonna make for some different pictures. Anyways, we're gonna check out some cliffs today, and uh, I don't know what we've planned. Kinda depends what roads are plowed and where we can get, and hopefully not slide off the road into the ocean. Yeah. All right, we're probably not gonna see whales 
Probably not going to see puffins. We might not even see Might not see icebergs. We're seeing pack ice, which is just big sheets of ice that got pushed in. We're headed to Cape Point. Cape Bonavista. Cape Bonavista, which is? The first point that John Cabot discovered in Canada. The first point. The landing point, the landing spot. We're at Ellison Point now, home of the puffin. I don't think there's gonna be any puffins. There's a lot of snow and some some big wind. Oh, oh, oh. Here's what we're dealing with. Look at oh, look at that. I can see grass till the edge, so I'm safe, I think. Welcome back. It is Saturday, April 22nd. We are now back in the St. John's area and uh, we're talking in here because as soon as we get outside, it is gonna be nasty. There's some pretty cool icicles in the grass and we're just gonna wander around and see what we can see. We can see. Vehicle. Yo, we are now downtown Harbor, St. John's, checking out some awesome, colorful looking houses. Bunch of big old ships. That's gonna be a nice shot. Cisco and I are gonna get screeched in tonight, which is a local tradition, which involves uh, screech rum, which is a local delicacy. And repeating a certain phrase. Repeating a newfie phrase and kissing a dead cod. Well, here we have uh, dead cod, frozen cod. We're about to get screeched in, which means kissing a dead cod and taking a shot of screech rum. All right, guys, listen up. There's only one of me in 70, so shush. I'm gonna ask y'all a simple question. And you're all gonna reply with a loud and proud, with a yes, bye. Are you screechers? Yes, bye. So guys, on the count of three, I'm gonna bring that bell, I want you all to down the hedge. One, two, three. Hey. All right, guys, don't be shy. How many people have kisses before? <laughs> you, you, you really don't want to know. Alright guys, congratulations guys. There's over 150,000 people have been screeched in now, guys. Thank you. Screeched in, it's official. It took two and a half years. <laughs> Well guys, this is our last stop. It's Sunday, it's raining, it's nasty. But I wanna show you guys this spot, it's super cool. Came here yesterday, didn't film at all, but uh, we'll walk down. There's an iceberg that's broken up and is crashing against the rocks and I thought it was pretty neat, so. Anyways. Look at this, guys. As if this is Canada. So cool.
That's a wrap. Back to the airport. Got to get home. Can't afford to miss this flight. Well, I know there's been a lot of driving shots, but this will be the last one. Done a lot of driving. How many kilometers, Cisco? 2,116. But it's been a good trip. Uh, if you guys are looking for somewhere to travel within Canada, Newfoundland's pretty phenomenal. Uh, I went to Iceland before. It feels very similar to Iceland, actually, some of the coasts. Yeah, we're back to the airport, so thanks for uh, watching. Uh, if you liked it, I guess this is where you give it a thumb up or subscribe. I'm kind of new to this YouTube thing. Every vlog can be a little different. This one had a little more travel. Next one might have a little more educational. Next one's gonna have a lot more fishing, actually. Next one's gonna be good. Anyways, we'll, we'll just we'll leave it at that. Anyways, thanks for the sweet trip, Cisco. No problem, buddy. Anytime. Just hit Cisco up if you're in town. He'll show you where to go. Anyways, peace.